Big boy. Little boy. Welcome back, gang. Today, we are fitting the windows. Ooh, so excited. And what's even more exciting than that is we're at a place called Jake's on the A19, not far from the designer outlet in York. And they have sponsored today's video. Ooh. So now I'm going to pass you over to Gareth and he's going to tell you about Jake's. This is Gareth. <laughs> Welcome to my Van World channel, Gareth. Hi, Thank uh, you so much for sponsoring today's video. Not a problem. Good. Thank you for having us. Oh, you're most welcome. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about the business, what you do, what you can offer people? Because I'm sure a lot of people are building vans watching this. So, if anybody needs any help, this is your man. Yeah, hopefully. So, we're a vehicle accessory fitting centre by trade. Uh, so, that's anything from reversing cameras, levelling systems, air suspension, but right through to full conversions. So, we've got a couple in at the minute. Mm -hmm. Full bespoke van conversions. Full bespoke van conversions. That's yeah. the main thing, bespoke, because a lot of people will do several different designs. You know, you can have this one, this one, or this one. If you're looking for a bespoke van build, these are you guys. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we can cater for anything and everything. So as far as your imagination wants to take you, um, we can certainly see if we can cater for it anyway. Fabulous, thank you. So Gareth and Stephen, who own the unit, are fitting the windows for us today. This is one of the things that Dad and I didn't really want to do because with all the edges, the curved edges for the windows, we were just a little bit worried that one wrong move and we'd mess up the whole side of the van and that's like 10 grand down the drain. <laughs> so these lovely skilled men are helping us and um, yeah, kind enough to sponsor today's video. Yeah, no problem at all. Should we get inside and have a look? Let's get inside. Yeah, let's get inside. Let's have a look. So not only is he kind enough to sponsor today's video, we've got merch, baby. It's freezing cold, isn't it, again today, obviously. Absolutely. Kit out of van in winter, morons. So we're repping. We're repping the brand. Let's go. So we've got this big one. And then this little one, which is bigger than I expected, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot smaller, but it's... So that one's going above my bed. So the main reason we're getting somebody to help us is not for the big window going in at the behind the driver's side. It's for this one. This awkward, awkwardly shaped, very difficult, and um, one wrong move and we've destroyed the van. So rather just get professionals to fit them in and then we know it's safe. But everything else, I think, besides maybe the underslung LPG gas tank, Gareth might be fitting that as well. But other than that, we're gonna do everything else, but very very grateful that we have somebody to help with this part so he's first taken this bit off i didn't get it on camera but he's used a special tool to get behind there and the window is going to do take up the whole of that panel and then the other one is going in between these two at the top Another reason we got help with the windows is because we do not have specialist tools like this to make these cuts. So next he goes from all four corners, then tapes the edges so the bottom doesn't rattle when he goes across the bottom. And voila, it's done. Wow. Hey. There's dad over there. Hi dad. Having a brew. Having a brew. Look, I've got a hole in my van. The edges are then smoothed with a couple of tools, including this cool one. I mean, look at that expert work there. And just to take off any of the rough edges so we can put the seal on. This is the bonding to put the window on and some paint primer. And so does this stuff, does it go around the outside? Yeah, so you put a nice thick bead on here. If you yeah. look at the nozzles, they're specially designed so that they put the thick bead around here once you Fabulous. fill there. This is the rust paint that's going to go on the exposed metal. 
a bit like the hammerite we put on the floor just to treat this so it doesn't rust so that gets covered like this before the seal goes on. So cleaning it. Yeah, it's cleaning it. Cleaning it ready for the bonding. It's so pretty. And a lot bigger than I was expecting, which is awesome. Yet another thing that Dad and I didn't have, those suction cups. So next he feeds round the seal, which was quite fiddly. But took Stephen no time at all. Okay, and he's done. He's cut the hole, he's rust treated the metal, the bare metal, and then put this seal all the way around the edge. Very tightly fitting. In some places, he had to just crimp the two pieces of the metal together. And I presume window just slots in now, hey? Yeah, pretty yeah? much. We've got to put the seal up, put the window around. Put the window, there. put the bonding stuff round, and then push it on. Amazing. Yeah. Look at that. It's a mutual beneficial thing. I'm stroking she... her and keeping her warm. And, and she's, she's keeping, keeping you warm. So these two are up here dossing around. It's, this, is the nerve, this is the nerve center. The nerve this center. Is, this is where, this is the hub, there's a hive of activity up here. Right. There's with your little heater. a really interesting phone call with Truman. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. So we, we can sell air conditioning, we can sell heaters. There is nothing that we can't do up here. <gasps> Anybody building a van, come see Gaz. <laughs> yes, hey. Please, please do. Please yeah, do. come see Gaz. Oh, look at that, you've got that, that's perfect. <laughs> We're going to have to like replicate this when we do the roof ones. So we need to take note really, don't we? Well, when we do this, we, you can, we can do it from the top and then yes. you can take it out and then you can come in and just and hand it. The bottom oh, yeah, yeah. Drop it back in again. Yeah, yeah. And we need the obligatory head through the roof of the van shot. <laughs> yeah. They placed a layer of beading around the window and also the edge of the van, sort of like for double protection, I assume. The window's going in. The window's going in. This is so very exciting. How long do you have to push it on for? You should grab it quickly, should it just remove it? What's it look like on your side? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing! I know! It's no longer just a van! <laughs> oh my days! I have a window! One down, another one to go up here. So they tape it up, wait for it to dry, but apparently it's drive away in two hours. So you can drive your van after it was been fitted two hours. Yeah, you're good. What do you check for around this side then? Just see if you can see any gaps or? Yeah, so as long as it's sealed all the way down, there'll be no leaks, there'll be no as long as it's a solid bead. Time for a sandwich. I need to get out of the cold for a bit. And that's that one off. The smell of burning is quite spectacular. So he said it's okay, because I have only just decided to put this window in um, to try fit in with a DVLA. It was just gonna be that one, um, but a second one's going in here. So he said it's okay. He's just gonna cut through the sound deadening because I didn't plan. That's why that's there. 
So you're measuring so it's perfectly in the middle? I'm just going to put a marker point, so... Oh, thank you. Somewhere, so it should be... Might be a few mil, but it won't be that far out. It's lovely. We're also picking up the solar panels. They've ordered a load of stuff for us. Solar panels there. This is the roll of wool insulation to go in all of the really difficult crevices. And then this is box of goodies for me too. MPPT charger, electric hookup, external hookup, some other stuff. So if you are kitting out a van and you want to do the work yourself, consider these guys to order all the bits for you because they're amazing and um, they'll get everything that you need. They've sorted us out with everything for our whole build and it's amazing. And he said, you know, this is the product price or this is the fitting price and I could choose whether I wanted the product or the product and fitting. So it's great. Give them a, give them a look. This is Stephen's dog. You also get to meet this little lovely girl when you come. Are you in my van? <laughs> oh, you cutie. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Come on then. <laughs> you little cutie. You've got my char my little charger for my phone. There you go. Hi. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. She's lovely. Oh my goodness. She was sat on my dad's upstairs. Yeah, she will do. Hey. Um, another reason dog. to come to Jake's. You get to see a dog. You get to have a lovely little dog. Cuddle with a lovely dog. So look at this expert measuring right in the middle of the panels. Holes in the corners. Holes in the corners. Onto the window above my bed now and again he drills holes in the corners but makes these a little bit bigger and then cuts in straight lines from the corners to each one. I mean look how perfect that is. It's so straight. I mean I'm so glad we got help with this. And then he joins them together and that's that. What a lovely day. That's how it's going to fit like that. That's perfect, thank you very much. Painting the edge again. So this is a rectangle hole and this is not a rectangle, this is rounded and I presumed that you would have to cut the shape of the window, this rounded bit, which is part of the reason why we got help because we were like if we mess that up, you know, you only get one shot at that. But actually, it has it, it can be a rectangle because of this extra lip. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it yourself, um, anybody, if you get this style window with the extra lip, then you can just cut it square, square edges, and um, pop it on. Oh, the rain. Yeah. I'm glad we're inside. So the seal's going around the edge. Again. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Seal it. Place it in and hold. What a beauty. That's my little pothole one in above the bed. Big boy. Little boy. Oh my God. A bit of cleaning and then it's done. Mm. And the little window's in. So what he had to do on this one, because it doesn't sit flush, was he's also silicone or edged it. I don't know what the term is, but he's edged it. Beaded it all around the edge. I'm absolutely buzzing. Right, I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to shut the door. And it's not pitch black. Look! 
Look at that. And the light is going to cast over my bed. Perfect. Look at that. That's just amazing. The light it brings in. <laughs> I'm dead chuffed with that, guys. And that is it, another stage complete, big step. This makes it look so different and feel so different. I am so excited, it no longer just looks like a white van. So a huge thank you to Jake's again for sponsoring this video and making this possible and helping us with buying all of the electrics, all of the solar, everything pretty much for the inside they're sourcing for us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, press the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, it's free. Thank you for all your support and I will see you next time. Peace out.